it up. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay Ready back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to get into probably one of the most requested videos or most asked about pieces on all my social platforms, um, but it's vests. Now, I've been wearing vests kind of a lot lately. Um, it's kind of something that I just thought was like dope to layer and stuff like that, and I just picked up and like kind of got into them a little bit more. But basically what I got here is three vests. I'm gonna show y'all kind of like easier ways to style them. I got some different outfits for each vest. So we just gonna mix and match and then, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all what I think looks good. So like I said, I got three vests here. I got this Dickies like construction vest. I got this vintage Fila vest. Then I got the vest that people ask about probably the most and that is this um, Uncle Milty like tactical vest so we will get into these three vests man i'm gonna show y'all some pieces i think that goes dope with them so first i'm gonna get into this dickies vest now basically this dickies vest is probably the vest that you'll see most people wearing it is kind of like that construction workwear type of vest real sturdy materials um a regular color for a vest if you go on any site like dickies or carhartt you'll see a vest like this so um basically the vest has like a nice quilted stitching on it on the front and on the back, it's kind of like all one piece. Then on the inside, you have the same quilted pattern, but it's with a different like soft fur material. So that's basically the most part of the vest. There's no like extra pockets or anything like that. It just has the basic two front pockets. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys what I think will go good with it. So with this vest being like a real sturdy, like winter type vest, um, basically how I go about styling it, is one way I put a hoodie under it and then kind of like zip the vest up so um, it's kind of like not too much so you can tell the hoodie's there but it kind of looks like part of the vest so that's one way I do it I just got this um, trusted hoodie shout out to one of my subscribers one of my supporters they sent this out um, but it's kind of like a lighter hoodie because you don't want to put something too heavy under this just because it might look weird because the vest is really like stiff so um, yeah, doing like a light hoodie under that and then for like those colder days I just threw on this Jacket that I got from forever 21 like a long time ago But like the colors and everything match so this was kind of like a nice light jacket to throw over it Kind of like even out that whole vibe and everything so um, That's that outfit. I just threw on some black pants some black pants that I got from PacSun um, I wanted to keep the pants really like Neutral I didn't want no holes or anything. So I just have regular like slim fit pants to go with that And then you can just wear like any type of like um, Boot or something like that with this type of outfit. So that's the first one the next outfit is that same type of vibe type of feel um, I have this nice little thin sweater that I wear under this Stussy um, The Stussy like long sleeve. It's not really a sweater. It's kind of like really really light So it's just a long sleeve and then it has like these striped accents. So um, the turtleneck really gives like an extra like detail to it so it all looks like one piece you know what I'm saying so that looks really dope together and then the vest being on top of it just adds a nice little touch gives it like that light um, kind of just like a lighter feel you can wear this in like the spring or something like that so that's a cool little outfit I threw on for the pants some overalls I just thought it added an extra accent an extra touch with the straps and then I put on then I put on these Doc Martin boots and the patterns of the prints and all the accents on this go with the vest. So that's that outfit. So the next vest I'm gonna get into is this Fila puffer vest. The puffer vest has really been like a cool little thing to add on to an outfit. You can't really layer it too much. You can only like put it on top of things. I definitely wouldn't wear this under a jacket just cause that's gonna look extremely weird with like a puffer under a jacket. Unless it's like another puffer jacket. but. That's besides the point. Probably wouldn't wear this under anything. Um, it's a nice accented piece. And I think it just gives like a new look, especially with it being like pink and all that. And it's vintage Fila, so that's fire. Y'all know I rock with Fila. So that's this vest. I'm gonna show y'all some outfits that go with it. So for the first outfit, I got the same hoodie that I had last time, the trusted hoodie. Really, I just like the hoodie just because it's thin. It's made by Champion. Um, so if you were just looking for like a regular thinner type champion hoodie to go under something, I would definitely pick that up. So I threw this hoodie on, it's light, it goes with the vest, it doesn't do too much. Cause a lot of times vests can like, 
if you wear something too heavy under it, it's gonna like bunch up right there where like the sleeve beats. So um, yeah, just keeping it light. Then I have on, or then I have these maroon colored pants from Urban Outfitters that I showed a while back, the track pants. And I just think that maroon and pink go well together. So that's basically for the whole outfit. For the bottom, for the shoes, I just got these maroon vans. So that's a clean little cohesive looking piece. Um, nice color scheme and all that, so yeah. Now the next outfit that I got to go with this puffer vest is this outfit with this thank you sweater. I'm not sure if I've shown this thank you sweater before, but I just think it's fire. It's a stitched in graphic. It's by Division, hold on, Division Labor. So Division Labor makes this hoodie. I got it from Urban Outfitters though, so um, I'm not sure if they still have it. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below. And I paired it with these light pants just because Pink and a lighter bottom, just in my opinion, looks very good. So these are some Levi denims. They are 510 denims. So that's the style of them. If you want to pick those up, definitely check out Levi's. I'm gonna try to find that link as well. And then for the shoes, now this is this is the part right here where you know what I'm saying. I start saucing. I got these Reeboks, the custom Reeboks. I've shown these all before. They got my name on the back and all that. Um, pink accents, gray and white. So with the outfit, it just goes perfect in my opinion. So this is probably one of my most favorite outfits in this little this little um, haul or style tip video. So yeah. All right, so now we're getting into the most requested vest, man. Every time I wear this vest, people are like, where did you get that from? Um, you know what I'm saying? How do you style that vest? What are some ways to wear it? Stuff like that. So this is, listen closely, this is the Rothko Uncle Milty Vest. You can literally go on Rothko and type in Uncle Milty Vest, this should pop up. It's a fishing style vest, I believe. And Rothko really just has like a lot of military type stuff. So if you're into like tech wear and stuff like that, Rothko is definitely a site to check out. They're kind of like a wholesale store. So like, I don't know, the prices may be kind of weird, but this vest wasn't too much. I want to say it was around like, 50 or 40 dollars or something like that this vest is probably the most versatile out of all of them just because it's super thin though so i'm gonna show you guys some outfits that i chose to go with this now this first outfit which is kind of like a green tone outfit which if you're into like tech wear and stuff like that this is probably more of like a tech outfit i have a lot of layers so starting off i have this stussy turtleneck it's really like more like a mock neck um the neck doesn't come up that high so that's the stussy then I threw this on top of that, and then on top of them both, I threw on this, this Kodo jacket that I got from Urban Outfitters like probably like two or three years ago. So um, staying with that green vibe, I went with this, and then it has pockets on it as well. So it kind of goes with the vest a little bit and adds a little more of an aesthetic to it. Then at the bottom, I went ahead and threw on these published pants. Published is definitely um, a site if you're looking for like joggers and stuff like that. They might be a site you might want to check out. So, um, yeah, these public joggers. And to end it off with the green vibe, I went ahead and threw on the Celtics. Now, these might be reaching a little bit. It's kind of like flexing the colors, um, forcing it. But with the outfit from, like, looking at it all at once, you know what I'm saying, kind of goes together. If not, you can go ahead and throw on, like, some black Adidas or some... I probably wouldn't put Vans on because the white may look weird, but an all black shoe would also go with this outfit. So for the second outfit that I got to go with, the Rothko vest is kind of like a lighter outfit, kind of more like that spring feel. Um, but basically what I just did was I had this zipper, zip up hoodie. Um, it's apartment nine, so I think I got it from like Kohl's or something. Um, but yeah, it's just a really thin jacket. It goes, it lays like perfectly under this vest and then you can just wear like a t-shirt under it. Um, I put on black pants. Really, I wish I had like some black cargo pants to go with this. It probably would like, it would fit the aesthetic of the pockets on the Rothko jacket. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's it. You could just put on Vans or something like that. So that's like a, a nice light outfit. So for the last outfit that I'm gonna talk about with the Rothko vest is an outfit that is, like I said again, light. This is probably something you can wear um, in the summer. It doesn't necessarily have to be like an all black fit, but you can definitely throw under a t-shirt. Now, this is a very rare one of one Jane Grundy t-shirt. So when I'm like popping, popping, 
you see this shirt, just know it's very rare and it'll probably be worth a lot of money. But that's besides the point. Um, that's just a shirt that I wanted to throw under because you probably want to have a graphic tee or something like that. Something that's really like simple though. If you throw on a graphic that's like really loud and this already has like a lot of pockets, it might kind of, you know what I'm saying, look weird. So um, nice simple t-shirt to go under that. I accented it with these pants that I got from Minimal. They have like paint splatter on them. I've talked about them before. Um, but I threw on the big buckle belt that I talked about in my other video um, about like Elite Studio belt. So if you have a buckle belt or something similar to that, you might want to throw that on as well. It adds to the pocket effect on the vest. So that's that outfit. I threw on, I threw on some vans at the bottom of it. These are like my beat up vans. I think it adds like a nice grunge look to it, but for the most part, that is the last outfit. So one more thing with this vest that you can do um, is wear it without a shirt. When I went to Miami and stuff like that, if you guys watched the vlog, you can see that I wore this without a shirt a few times. Basically, if you like, if it's real hot and you have like nothing else, you don't wanna wear like a t-shirt or something that's like, you know what I'm saying? Just adds to the weight of your body. You can go ahead and throw this on. It's kind of like, I don't think, look, I don't think tank tops are cool, so in the summer, this is probably something I wear, but I'm going to talk about that more in a video, probably a spring essentials or like a summer essentials video, so stay tuned for that. That is it for the video, man. If you guys liked it, make sure you go down and subscribe and like this video if you haven't yet, but pretty much just like how I made this video when you guys requested everything. Um... You guys can keep on doing that. Go in the comments, request a video, or if it's something that you think I should talk more in depth about. But besides that, man, thanks for watching the video. I'll be back to you guys with more. Peace. No sad days in LA. No sad, no bad.